Okay, I... Okay, I okay. suing out. someone for a word that sounds similar is bullshit. Suing someone for a word that has heavy religious context and is important to you, that makes more sense. Because, like, did you guys hear about the, uh, the Brahmin thing with Fallout? That I did not know. Okay, they used so a forbidden it, name, didn't they? Yeah, it's okay, like, so uh, the Brahmin... Like, never heard of parody before. There's, like, basically the... So in for in the Fallout series, you can frequently find these radi irradiated mutated cows called Brahmin, right? And Too bad. the name Brahmin is a derivative of a name that has religious significance to a deity in some part of the world that I don't know about. Do. So, huh? Uh, in India, Brahmin the Brahmin is one of the three gods, but you yes, are not worshiping them. Oh fuck. Yeah. But the, um, so, in that area, the, um, the Brahmin are just called rad cows in the game. And that was news to me, because I didn't realize Fallout was in India. Hmm. Like, I mean, I don't know why, but, like, like in, it's probably because I'm, like, I'm sheltered and kind of dumb, but it always surprises me that certain things are in other countries, because I'm just like, those... They don't seem like the kind of people who would enjoy that stuff. You'd be surprised, like, American media reaches everywhere. Yeah. Also, Did you see how many, um, edits there were of Zootopia for different countries? Because with, like, the, oh, news one of the animals, news... they would do different things, yeah. It's like the second news report was always a different thing. <laughs> I want to get into Bollywood movies because every time I see, like, clips of them, they look so extra. Hmm. They know how to have fun. It's like movies nowadays in the states are just like, oh, it's an action movie and lots of people die, and then people start say hating the superheroes, uh, but then something goes wrong. Then there's the obligatory politics to tack onto that, and then there's the oh, hey guys, it's a remake. Yeah, and then it's just like, like, it's it's like guys, look, it's it's the 15th reboot of Ghostbusters or whatever. <laughs> it was based on something in the 50s that never took off. Yeah, it's just like, oh, what's this new? It's like, what's this new Ghostbusters thing about? It's just an excuse for someone to call a whole bunch of moviegoers sexist. I see. Did it work? <sighs> Fucking no. No one's that stupid. Good. There's still some amount of hope left in what. Sat down to saw to. Sat down to see that movie with a friend. It was just meh. There was there, there literally was no reason for the hate, to be honest. Like, yes, hatred towards Sony, but the movie itself was just... Eh? I was like, okay, so for me, it's like... For me, a good way to think about it is that the movie was yeah, bad, right. but not because anyone in it did a bad job. The movie was bad because they weren't it, do... It's like, they weren't actually trying with it. It was literally just, hey, yeah. we made women Ghostbusters sleep with us. Finally. Basically! Basically, well, there was nothing. There was no. There was no actual advancement to the plot. It was very bland, uninspiring, and none of the like, characters, with the exception of the butch lesbian, were very memorable. It was just like it's I will female say, female Ghostbusters. That's it. It's like I will say to give it to both sides equally. Female Ghostbusters can work. Any Ghostbusters can work. Fucking t exactly. tween Ghostbusters can work because you've seen it in anime probably. But the problem is. If you're just doing it to appeal to someone, it's really obvious. Dude, I would watch kid Ghostbusters. Like, if they went to I school, would watch kid Ghostbusters. Oh, that would oh, be interesting. Man. Remember Extreme be... Ghostbusters with the one guy in the wheelchair? <laughs> oh, that was something. Not at all. Well, I don't remember it, but I've heard... But... <laughs> Could have probably heard of it. I never actually watched any of the Ghostbusters, like, in earnest. Like, I've seen bits of them. But no, if there was, like... Teen Ghostbusters going through school doing this stuff. I think I'm pretty sure I'd watch that. I mean, considering we're gonna get Ghostbusters: The Afterlife, which is apparently gonna focus on te on ki on teenage Ghostbusters, and I think one of them is apparently the the niece of Egon, a granddaughter. The yeah, the granddaughter of Egon, of the late Re aka late Harold Ramis. Yeah, yeah, we could definitely probably see that. Yeah, it can like like I said, it can work, but you have to be doing it. It's like, you have to be doing it because you want to tell a good story, not because you really, really want women to like you. Well, also, no, like, like, no one has done this yet. Yeah, well, also, like, you kind of have to update the story a little bit or do something unique, because I think one of the yeah. things that made Ghostbusters work so well was that it came out in the 80s, exactly, like, the only decade when 
all that stuff in tandem totally does work together because it totally came out of that the culture and it's amazing that we did because now we remember it as a classic but it's exactly. ultimately like a product of the 80s yeah, yeah. It was also really funny. Also, Damn it! I saw that something. Too. I saw something interesting in the Twitch chat. I'd like to address because it's relevant. Okay. Someone says, "Keep politics out of movies." Now, my stance on that is mm. different, but not opposed. I would say, is like it's not that you have to take politics out of movies. What you have to do is make the movie about what it's about. In other words, you make know? it entertaining. This is like if the if the movie is about politics, then. Put I mean, like, politics into it. If the movie's about ghosts, you put ghosts in it. And if the movie's about Godzilla, you actually show Godzilla for more than five minutes in the fucking movie. I mean, movie. like, <laughs> one of my favorite, uh, because I'm rewatching it with Bliss uh, currently, so I may as well bring it up. Like, one of the highest rated thing ever rated on IMDb is political. It's Chernobyl. Hmm, really? Uh, yes. Yeah, the highest rated thing of all the things rated on IMDb. The highest is Chernobyl. Yeah. It's like, to give you guys an exon exon exontage. An and that's exontage. very political. It's like, exontage. to give you guys God an damn. idea of what I mean by what I said earlier, like, you guys know how in horror movies they predominantly have really bad endings, even for the main protagonist? Yes. Like, yeah. everyone dies and everything's bad and just, you know, because oh, it's a you, horror movie, you expect are you, that. Mm -hmm. Are you referencing The Mist? I'm referencing God, a lot the of miss. Dude, The Mist! The I like The Mist. Oh, uh, right. The oh. ending was so... The ending was like, so good more. that even Stephen King had to say, Damn, I wish I had wrote, written that ending. <laughs> oh. Let's not sum up for Mist. For what movie, Riley? For The Mist. Uh... Hmm. Also, uh, that gif, good choice in the scene, because the music during that is also incredible. Yeah, yes. I love that gif. Yeah, I <laughs> also, love that scene, it's so perfect. Also, that's another thing, the music has to be a bop, please, because I'm not a big mu I'm not a big music person in general, but when I hear a good video game soundtrack or a really fucking awesome beat in a movie, it's just like, this, this is why people like music, I get it now. <laughs> Now, in regard, now to kind of add to to the whole something keep politics out of X and Y. Here's my stance on it: If you're gonna put politics in anything, be subtle with it, because mm -hmm. audiences will like it when you're trying to be as subtle as possible with the topic in question. When you shove it in their face, it comes off as very pandering. Mm. Especially. I mean fictional politics. Make it fictional politics to the exact situation in yeah. the movie. Not so I, much Emperor Palpatine. Fictional I think things exactly. Like. Emperor Palpatine is a brilliant example of that. Yeah. Right. Well, I think right. part of it is that a lot of things we grew up with, we didn't really recognize as being political, but I'm sure to the adults they would have thought so. And now yeah. as adults, we're able to recognize things in the modern era and the pop culture and shit and see whether it's very... Like, what was it? Um... What was the, the last rainforest? The one with Tim Curry is the fucking uh, poison. Fern Gully. Fern Gully. Like Fern Gully. As kids, we still love that film. But if I'm, I'm guessing as an adult, you could see just how ham-fisted the whole environmental message oh, is with God, that film. Oh yeah. God, think, yeah. I still think Fern Gully was pretty fun though. Oh yeah, Tim Curry as a smog monster is definitely a win. Robin to Williams. Robin Williams is to that. Toxic love. That's Robin Williams is anything. Bat. Robin True. Williams is forever an amazing person. Uh, uh, I will... Yeah, Batty Coda. <laughs> Which, funny, that whole uh, movie caused a whole dispute between him and Disney, too. <laughs> because, yeah. Uh, because Disney has no morals or ethics. I, I mean, did you see the bullshit that... We might have another bot in the chat. Oh? Yeah, hold, hold on. on. Want to become mm. famous? Buy followers, primes, and viewers on bigfollows.com. Ah, uh, kill no. that shit. There's a oh, wait, there's I'm a mod. red check mark. Yeah, there's a red check mark next to your name, buddy. Damn it! Where's hmm. the thing? Where's there's the thing? a requirement. Where are my mod powers? Also, like, there's a requirement for you to disappear. <laughs> also, also, I know I've also. only been here for a couple of weeks, but nice. Congrats. Oh, okay, we're doing that now? Okay. <laughs> I did it earlier, but for some reason the cans uh, in the UK are defective. Or maybe I'm just shit. Ah, damn it! How do I get rid of this thing? 
Also, this does mean now we need a drink. Well, it's like now we need a drink based on death. I have. A, I already have a. I already have something in mind. Oh, really? What's that? Oh, I coffee. thought you were about to say you already got one something made for you. Yeah. Wait, do Coffee's... we have coffee already? Uh, yeah, we uh, have one I with bliss. Alright, I'm back, <laughs> and speaking of that... Yeah, and of cream! Hey. That was I better. cracked that was mine better. open, I can't uncrack it. <laughs> I'll come up with something. Probably come up with, like, coffee-related, somehow. Does bliss have coffee? Yeah. yeah. Coffee's great. Like bliss Yeah, we, we always something. have like a bulk box of coffee in the pantry. And we religiously check to make sure Game it never please. goes empty. Game please. <laughs> Game please. You know, there is also canned coffee that exists. That's yes. that's what we were I just mean, talking about. I mean, there's, no, I, drink, there's a... I drink that at Amazon all the time. Mm. Cold brew, I get. I mean, there's also cold brew, I suppose. Okay, There's now we need to brew. think of a pun for cold brew. Uh... Horse brew or something. I yeah, horn brew? something. No! Oh. Ah. Frost brew? Oh. Chill oh, logic. something. You were talking about, uh... You were talking about musicals earlier. If you want a good musical, I definitely well, recommend Vivo. What are we talking about? I you said someone. It's a musical. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were no, talking about how like, how you want the soundtrack to be a bop oh, and stuff. Oh, Vivo! No, I was talking about how music in video games and movies is good. I wasn't talking about musicals. It's like oh, musicals okay. can still be neat. But like, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I can definitely understand that. Like, Silent Hill soundtracks are always considered the best thing. I can really imagine that with just, like, just horror atmosphere. I don't know why, maybe it's a testament to how good Silent Hill is, but just through hearing what I've heard and seeing clips and GIFs, I don't want to see anything or play anything to do with Silent Hill because it terrifies me in a very unique way. <laughs> I've heard people got fucking nightmares okay. as adults, like, they would rather, like, shrivel up in a corner than play hey. uh, Silent Night. Silent, hey, Silent Hill, no, sorry. <laughs> sorry! Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> guys? Yes. Would you like to visit? <laughs> would you like to visit Centralia sometime? Ooh, it is the oh, real Centralia. life U.S. city that inspired Silent Hill, directly yep. from the author, and it is still abandoned to this day. Oh, oh I would <laughs> love to city. see Centralia. Well, technically, I... there's still like a few people who live around the area. Like old part of the census, just... there's two. Yeah. Okay, two? if I if we ever go to this place, I'm not going alone, and I'm not going into the hospital. Fuck you all. <laughs> Hey there. Um, I thought I heard footsteps I for a minute. I thought it was nuts. I'm he Hinopio. This is a regular inferno. Come on, step inside. Okay. What? what? Hello? Oh, I know. Heart. Ah, okay. Wait, Welcome to the inn. Familiar. 30 coins will get you a room. Sure. <laughs> sleeping on boxes. <laughs> Does that look like it's comfortable to you? But dude, at least that's a common courtesy to have a pillow and a blanket. Jesus. It's, it's so sleeping good on a heart attack. Marty, so it wasn't that a cushy Don't even ask you. Dude, you up. what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, that, uh, it's right. Okay, at I least realized, my team... this isn't even. That wasn't even a different room. He was watching you sleep on boxes. Is that like a box per person? That's creepy. <laughs> Although this Easter egg is pretty cool. I see the R wing. I see uh, one of the cars from F Zero. And what the hell is this? Is that an Angry Bird? Maybe it's another one from F Zero. Did Angry Bird? Though? Did Angry Bird even exist when this game was a thing? It, I'm pretty it's, sure. No, it, it's it didn't. A, but... It's a joke. No. But it looks like an Angry oh. Bird. I mean, you have the two eyes. And there's there's the... one of Samus's ships. I was gonna say, is that Samus's ship? Oh shit! I should have like noticed. Maybe that's a big maybe. I don't know. Don't quote me. Because I, I don't know shit. I will quote. <laughs> My back just hurt looking at those boxes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like my experience with Metroid is only what you guys have. Oh, Armory. Given. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can find. This. 
Let's see, that could uh, be for Mallow. For... Why did I keep the smiley face I shouldn't have? Because I'm not having any experience with the stream at all. Knock Knock Shell. Logic, when did you, when, why did you immediately become Russian for some reason? Logic, why didn't you press the AZ5 button? <laughs> the AZ5 button. <laughs> The, the, the what? Oh, little drops. The AZ button. Oh, be well, back. be back. Be back. The, a the AZ button from Chernobyl. Sorry about that. Okay. You're good. You know yeah. what? Like, for, Here we go. For context, whenever I there click, we go. For context, whenever I click out of the stream and back in, it does the dancing squares thing. I'm going to have to leave the stream and then re-enter it for a chance Damn. to start the screen again because I'm further away from you guys, I guess. Aww. Mm. Uh. Power Blast and a seed, a fast growing seed. Hmm. A seed is a seed? Ah, the floor here is made out of floor. I'm not making a comment. What's your floor made out of then? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, mid mushroom, yes, I could use some of that. No. Boxes. Ah, you fuck! Okay, I gotta sell something. Mm, like you, you've made it. It's like you've made it clear from your like disinclination to comment that your floor may not perhaps is like may not actually be made out of floor, <laughs> which gets me curious. Fear <laughs> attack on the enemies. It's like um, what? What do you say? Defense is like freaking. Is your floor made out of puppies? Is that why you're being so defensive about it? <laughs> oh my god! Is it made I mean, out of bears? Like small oh, ones? Wait. There. Okay. Wait. Now. Bears. Like is your. There we go. Yeah. It's like you have a very, it's like right. you have a very uh, vampiric thing on. about what you. Is your floor need, just uh, like the remains of your former victims? Able to use some I mean, why up. not? Really? I'm, I'm just being silent and logic's continuing. Because you won't answer the question. Keep continuing. What logic. is your floor made out of? <laughs> what is your floor made of, Steph? Same it's, point. It's, it's literally wood. It's literally wood. So you've got wood. Okay. So your floor is in here. fact made out of floor. Man, wood. Is wow, wood I cannot. I cannot. Time. I cannot believe that got wood thing. Ah, damn it! Oh no, I got it. I just didn't know how to. Fuck. Done too much. Money, I, money. Damn it! It's like sometimes I just don't know how to. Wait, hold on. I got you guys. Six, three, seven. <laughs> Sorry. Do you think you are able to explain the nine plus ten equals twenty-one event ah, happening hell. on September tenth? What? what? No, Isn't that wait, just no. What is there to explain? Oh, thing? sweet. Hi, Blue Sweet. Hey! Blissy! Uh, hey. Please come up to the first floor for a chest x ray. Does Solar okay. know that I'm playing this game? I think he he's busy. asleep because he's been offline for hours now. Like, I time. think his hours have changed. It seems like he's slip. up during the day lately. Uh, and he's been uh, gone in the afternoons. Must have been like some kind of great- Oh, up, like, damn it! In the middle of the night. I don't know. I think his hours just changed as well. His sleep schedule probably- He's- yeah, He's slowly becoming a more of a night owl. Damn it. God <coughs> More of a night owl. He's online most of today, so I feel like it's the opposite uh, of that. Like, uh, I honestly uh, can't- Ah, uh, damn it! But yeah, no, Equestria guy, I don't know why you're asking me about the 9 plus 10 is 21 thing. I think it's because you brought it up <laughs> early. Like, 9 plus 10 is 19! What the fuck are you talking about? It's a meme. It's reference. tomorrow's date. 9, is 10, that the meme? I, I, yeah. I've seen the correction comment and I'm just like, it's a meme. Don't worry about it. It's like, everybody oh. in here is very aware that 9 plus 10 is not 21. Right, chat? <laughs> right, chat? <Sure. laughs> I, I, I feel like... Look. Equestria guys trying to make fetch happen right now, and fetch is just not happening. Damn. I'm learning I understand words. that reference. Thank you. Oh, damn it. <laughs> this is gonna take a while for me to get through. Damn it. Golden. Yes. <laughs> I see what you're doing, and I know exactly what's going on, and I know why it's going on. I don't blame you, but also, holy shit. <laughs> this is why I don't like isometric I, views. Okay, so, fucking, like, you know, it's an isometric game, and you have to align yourself with everything you should jump across. 
Fuck. But it's odd because of the directional controls you're probably working with because it's an old game. You have like the plus shaped movement controls, right? Alright. Yes. There... Mm. Come on! And it's like some of the elevated ones look like they're more to the left or the right, and it just makes it more confusing. It but should I... be the same command every time, because these things are space equidistance. Mm. Some just look higher. Yeah. Wait a second. Oh, that's why I kept fucking it up. It, it, God, it just has the fucking illusion there. All right. Wait, hold on. If you engage in a battle mid-air, doesn't that mean it just drops you when you're done? Yes. Ah, uh, it looks fire. like okay. it. Oh, nice. Fuck no, off, good. fireballs. He, he's like, he's gonna win the fight, but he's not gonna survive long enough to enjoy it. God damn it. Also, well, I'm happy. Also, I'm yeah, happy I that I'm happy that Bowser is able to suppress <laughs> his kidnapping urges while Peach is right fucking there. Right. Luigi Death uh, Stare. I don't know how to answer that question. Correctly. What was the question? Or else. How many second degree burns does it take to burn off that ass hair? Sorry, I had to. What? Ew. Fuck. I don't want context, but I feel I like someone's gonna give it to me anyway. No. Damn it, man! He beat me to a punch because I had a joke similar. It's a classic tragedy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Romeo yeah. and Juliet, the quintessential reason the parents should not have any say in the romantic choices of their children. Whoa! What the fuck? God, I just remember the random song. thing is, in Romeo and Juliet, if their parents did have a say, uh, they wouldn't have died. What is going on? Fusion. Oh. It's Fire Yoshi. Wow. What the hell? It's Mr. Patch from Banjo and Tooie. Oh my god. Oh my. Jesus. What? I haven't even I haven't question. played that yet. What? That? Wait, so his limbs are just other sentient creatures? I guess so. Iron Maiden? I don't know what the TMI is about. Uh, what's Time going to play on? Number of the Beast. <laughs> what? I I could just say like Run for the hill. Oh, the TMI is because of the fucking burning arse thing, yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice. Run yeah, don't worry about it. My mind just life. blanked it out. Just, don't, don't worry, the less time we waste on it, the better. Alright, good, good. Okay, um, explaining the fetch thing. There's a movie called Mean Girls, in which there's these popular girls, one of whom tries to turn fetch into a cool slang word, like, that's so cool, that's so fetch. And at some oh. point she gets called out by, uh, being told, stop trying to make fetch happen. Fetch is not going to happen. So when <laughs> someone tries to build something up as being cool, wait, to cool to one hold person, the fuck on, yeah. water blast? Yeah. I don't like, remember that scene. That's the joke. That doesn't like, make think... any sense. And then the girl makes a tirade about Caesar when doing a report about it. Yeah, but I mean, I'm, I was just explaining the fetch thing. Ah. I know, but still, yeah. I, I find that part good. Like if we want to go into the whole movie. It, Actually, I think we've done that on a stream before. Hmm. Still a good movie. Is it Mean Girls? Is that the movie with uh, Lindsay Girls. Lohan? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Good scene. The plastics. It's not yeah, the cool. best movie ever, but it is a fun watch. It is. It's like, fucking. I think, and this is just me personally, the best way to think about humor is that Christ. the best kind of humor is spontaneous. Organized fun will never be as good as the spontaneous nights where anything can happen. Because at least for me, it always in impacts just that little bit more if it comes out of nowhere. It's like the sudden strike you never expected to get in bowling. It's like the I kind of agree shot with you, when you yeah. win the pot and get a fuck ton of money. Therapy punk. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's the same with jokes and memes. It's like memes especially because you know. Memes live and die by just happening Very at quick. random and disappearing just as quick as they arrive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like how many? It's like how many memes? It's like how many forced memes have succeeded as much as spontaneous memes? Right. Right. It from you just be something that resonates with the person. Yeah, yeah or yeah, it, it resonates with, how it with what? someone. Yeah. Because if you notice, like. <laughs> An intentionally designed meme, like, say, for, like, advertisement, for instance, has never worked, but the organic ones tend to stick. Hmm. I mean, yeah. the Wendy's uh, Twitter and Sonic Twitters have been decent. 
No, no, here's the thing, though, is that, like, that was kind of incident. It's like, those channels run by me, yeah. by someone to do that, because when they intentionally tried to do that in that one commercial, they got shit on by everyone. Mm. <laughs> Wait, was that that Super Bowl commercial? Fucking hell! I don't know. Like, if we pay for five seconds of ad time, we know I you'll pause like... to read this. I feel like one of the memes was the like a boss thing because I remember remember like me them making a like a boss meme on Wendy's yeah. Oh, oh God, God, they did! I remember, I remember that. that. They fucking did that. Yeah, memes or anything around that nature. Uh, before, no, it, no, like no. basically the entire company's get on it is like <laughs> Wendy's ordeal when it comes to marketing. It's just that now in recent years, it's a lot more apparent, I guess. It must be a generic <laughs> memer. <laughs> but then they then they try and make them like the same way they make like a normal advertisement, and that process yeah. doesn't make a good meme. Because mm. it doesn't make it a good meme though. But they have to make it all corporate and procedural to make sure that it says all, all the right, right messages fire, fire, fire. and stuff. So. You might get like a flash in the pan moment where like the Twitter can take off, but the moment they're like, "Hey, that works. Let's pump regulations into it," then it, it's, it's like it's, the magic is gone. It's like oh. let's take away what made it good in the first place: the fact that it was literally mistake. <laughs> Anime you was know, a mistake. You know what's so <laughs> funny? <funny? laughs> when, That's uh, what's so funny. Funny. Wait, wait, yeah. when actors mess up something in a movie, but they keep it in anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that is good. Horrible. Indiana Jones. Oh, Indiana Jones! Oh, that didn't do shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a good one. I think yeah. that one is a lie. I'm trying to I feel bad one. about that one, though, where the- Yeah, he pulls out a gun and shoots the guy with the sword, but he only did that but, because his stomach was hurting, and he just no, wanted to get the scene over. The, the, the actor was so tired. Good. He didn't want to yeah. do it. <laughs> he was <laughs> like, he had been filming- a fancy drawn-out scene, or bam. Yeah, also, like, he was, apparently, he Harrison Ford was just in the sun, like, all day, in a desert, so he's exhausted. I'm Understandable. done. <laughs> also, credit, like, like, credit to the other anymore. actor, it's like, credit to the other ha actor who followed his actions, because, like, if that was actually meant to be a proper fight, and he's like, I'm gonna pull out the gun and shoot you, and they would just, like, just go with it. He would have passed like, out. Those two just go with the bit. rocked in yeah. that scene, and it was all spontaneous. <laughs> right. And I loved it. 